The Honourable Premier. House for giving me the opportunity to stand uh, and uh, say a few words, and I know uh, members from uh, the opposition parties will do as well. I, uh, I'm sure the member from in Inver Inverness will be able to, to speak in Gaelic. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I won't punish the rest of the House with that. But <clears throat> indeed, Mr. Speaker, last week, uh, Nova Scotia and Canada lost a, a tremendous parliamentarian, uh, someone who uh, Nova Scotians have looked up to uh, for uh, half a century when it comes to public life, and that was the loss of Alan J. McKechn. Uh, better known in these parts as Alan Jay. Uh, it's one of the few uh, elected officials who have gone to such high esteem uh, but has never lost the fact the title is Alan Jay. Uh, when people speak about him, uh, they speak with great affection. It's been a week of outpouring of affection, not only from Nova Scotians, but Canadians who have talked about uh, the impact that Alan Jay had on this country. Uh, for some of us, uh, his impact began before we were even here. Uh, and the things that he touched, like Medicare, Labor Standards Code, the investment that he made in get, making sure that low-income seniors had a supplement, all of those things are just part of our way of life today for most of us. We didn't realize the journey that Alan Jay took to make sure those things were in place so that vulnerable Nova Scotians that, uh, would be looked after, ensuring that health care was indeed a right for every Canadian working across party lines. Last week in Antigonish, last Sunday, uh, the thing that struck me, one of the things that struck me, and I think sometimes is lost in our current public life, uh, was the number of the, the, the outpouring across party lines. Uh, he had the ability to reach across into New Democratic caucuses, into Conservative caucuses, and indeed his own, uh, to make sure that he fought for public policy that made sense uh, for Canadians. Uh, and I think much of what he took to the House of Commons came from his parents in Inverness. Uh, often you hear people talk about uh, the things that he would have seen uh, growing up, the poverty, the men going to work without pensions, all of the things that he took and built and made become part of who he was. It shaped the man. Uh, and no matter how high he climbed uh, in his career, whether it's as Deputy Prime Minister, I like to, prefer to refer to him as Nova Scotia's Right Honourable. Uh, uh, no matter how hard he climbed, he never forgot the struggle of his parents and those of the people that he was elected to represent. I think one of the things that was extraordinary uh, when people were speaking of him in the last few days, uh, it was never, I think one of the persons said he would one day be meeting Henry Kissinger and the next day he made sure he got back home to the kitchen tables of Inverness County and the very people he wanted to represent. And it's where he was most comfortable. It's where he wanted to be. He ran to make a difference in the lives of the people of Inverness, and indeed by doing so, he made a difference in the lives of Canadians and in Nova Scotians. Uh, there are so many young Nova Scotians that he took under his wing and gave them an opportunity to see the great institution of Canada. Uh, some of them went on to become premiers, senators, uh, uh, in the dip diplomatic corps, and some of them came back to this province and have had a huge impact in the profession they've chosen to practice. But all of them were impacted by Alan Jay giving them an opportunity to go and see the halls of democracy in Canada and the impact that they, were, that they would have on the country and the good that can come out of them. And I think one of the things that is, uh, that is sometimes lost, and I know all of us in this house know how important this institution is, um, but Alan Jay lived, that, lived his institution. He could have done other things. He could have gone and done other things. Uh, but he believed in the pursuit of good public policy. He believed in the impact that this institution could have on the lives of Canadians and Nova Scotians. And he made sure that he continued to take the values that his parents gave him, the people of Inverness gave him, and he made sure he imprinted those in public policy that reflected the kind of Canada that I think all of us want and the kind of Canada, quite frankly, that the rest of the world looks at and is envious of today. You know, we are seen as a beacon globally. When you get a chance to go out and people talk about what's happening around the world, this country wasn't founded by accident. There was a lot of hard work. And Alan Jay's effort is part of that. And as Nova Scotians, we should be very proud of the fact that one of our own, a guy who came from a small town, a small community, took his ideas in his heart and realized no matter how far he went, no matter what he did, he was not going to lose sight 
of the foundation of who he was that was built from this province, and he was going to impart Nova Scotia values and Inverness values on our large institutions that would have an impact on generations of Canadians. I'm one who, quite frankly, began to learn a lot more about Alan Jay's legacy, unfortunately, upon his passing. The very things that we take for granted, the very things that we take for granted, he worked very hard to make sure they were in place. One of the things the Prime Minister said in his remarks on Sunday, there probably would not be a Charter of Rights in this country today if it wasn't for Alan Jay. His, fa his father, the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Pierre Elliott Trudeau, gets recognized for repatriating the Constitution. But Alan Jay was the glue that brought that together. That journey wasn't an easy one. It took a lot longer than the Prime Minister of the day might have wished it had. But to get it across the goal line, it was Alan Jay McKechn who fought for the rights and freedoms of every Canadian to ensure that they were, that Constitution would be repatriated back to Canada. As the Prime Minister said, without his effort, without his hard work, there may not be a Charter of Rights in Canada today. So, Mr. Speaker, as we stand in this House, get an opportunity to recognize the great legacy of Alan J. McKechn, uh, of Alan J. Uh, I think it's only fitting at the end of this we take a moment of silence to reflect on the impact uh, that Alan J. had on our lives, on the lives of this province and the life of this country. Uh, as many people have said, uh, probably the greatest parliamentarian post-World War II. Uh, he's from Nova Scotia, from Inverness. He never lost sight of that, and nor should we. Uh, he never lost sight of the fact in the, that he had the privilege of being an elected official, and through that, he could make a difference in the lives of individuals, and he could also give individuals an opportunity, young people working in his office, taking a moment to explain to them the journey of how it was and for this piece of public policy. That's a privilege that all of us have. That's an, that's an opportunity all of us have, to be able to reach out to young people some of whom are standing here today, welcome, some of whom are standing here today, to show them the importance of this institution and what can happen when good public policy comes together, what can happen when you have the privilege to sit in here to impact the lives of those citizens you, 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 you are elected to represent. And uh, one of the things Alan Jay learned early on uh, was never forget where you come from. Uh, he lost an election. He made sure that was never going to happen to him again. <laughs> so he made sure he got home to those kitchen tables frequently. And I think some people in his I think some, some current members in that riding may have learned that lesson as well without losing. Just keeps showing up to the kitchen tables. Uh, but I think, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I can't tell you, uh, as the Premier of this province, but more importantly, just as a Nova Scotian, uh, how proud I was and how proud I am with the outpouring of affection uh, that came towards Alan Jay and the, act of, and the impact uh, that the boy from Inverness County had on this, uh, on this province and this great country. So, Mr. Speaker, I look forward to hearing from the member from Inverness uh, uh, and uh, the leader of the NDP party as we honour a true uh, Canadian hero.